Hey guys, this is Tom with CellPhoneTrek.com. We're here at the Verizon Off the Record event at the Treasure Tavern off Carrier Drive here in beautiful sunny Orlando, Florida. I have with me here Stephen from Sony Ericsson. As you guys have probably already found out by the description of this video, Sony Ericsson and Verizon have teamed up to bring the Xperia Play to the U.S. Uh, go ahead and show us a little about the Xperia Play. I know it was released at Mobile World Congress. That's right. We announced it after a lot of rumors and leaks and speculation. We finally formally announced it in Mobile World Congress to, to just a really, really great response. And so here we are in the U.S. partnering at this event with Verizon because the Xperia Play is going to be available first in the world at Verizon Wireless. So we're very excited about that. All right. Uh, the, the first thing to, to really establish about this device before we even get into the gaming proposition is that you have a full featured smartphone here. So, so somebody's going to go, oh, the gaming is great, but am I buying a toy? No. Right. You've got everything that you need in a smartphone and then the one thing you really want, which is a great gaming proposition. So it's going to launch right out of the gate with the latest version of the Android platform. So that's Android 2.3, otherwise known as Gingerbread. So all of the, the enhancements for productivity and for power efficiency and, and things like Google Voice Actions that you're going to get there, the latest version of uh, Google Maps, for example, and a really good text uh, creation and text editing experience. Really a precise keyboard there and great ways to edit. What type of screen is this? This is a, an FWVGA screen, T, T, uh, TFT technology, F, FWVGA resolution, and it's uh, four inches across diagonally. All right. And processor speed? The processor speed is a one gigahertz second generation Snapdragon processor. Now, the second generation is important because this is a dual channel processor that in addition to having the Snapdragon uh, GPU, excuse me, the CPU, you've got an Adreno 205 graphics processor. And the chipset is dual channel, so it's a very nimble processor going to these two different components and handling it very fast. And as, as I mentioned before, being more power efficient, giving you more battery time. And that combined with the enhancements of gingerbread just really makes it really fast doing everything that you want to do. Everything overall, but, it, but especially for the gaming. All right. Well, show us a little bit about the phone and then we'll get to the gaming here. Okay. Well, uh, looking on the outside of the phone, I uh, just want to point out, you can't really see it that well, but there's a, a, a forward-facing VGA camera. So for video chat, video calling services, mm -hmm. if you want to, uh, to, to use Using services such as Quick or Fringe. Yeah, you know, or Tango. Yeah, those Tango. are three of those that I mentioned. And I'm sure there, there's others soon to come. From, right. Uh, sources we won't name just yet until they they have the privilege of naming it. Exactly. Uh, but then going around to the back of the device, uh, you have a 5 megapixel camera too for, for your rear camera and with an LED camera light. Uh, internally, what's really good is the Wi-Fi speed too. You've got Wi-Fi 802.11 BG and N. And the N's going to give you, you know, that technology supports up to like 72 megs per second. Right. It's a really fast Wi-Fi capability. Uh, looking there in the in the interface, with Gingerbread, of course, you're going to have your five home screens. So you can put lots of shortcuts and widgets there to your heart content. And preloaded with a, uh, a few uh, notable Verizon applications in this Verizon customized product. So you have vCast apps there. And moving off to the right, I've got Verizon Navigator, and I've got my Verizon Wireless, and my personal favorite, Visual Voicemail, I find it is a really helpful uh, service. So you got a lot of screens there, a lot of widgets, and adding more shortcuts and widgets to your heart's content. Very easy going in here to the whole Android menu. This is vanilla. Yeah, this is very, by the very way. vanilla. Yeah. I'm used to Sony Ericsson with their Timescape UI. Yeah. And, and you know, that's good too. So, so it's a, just a different preference. But here, you know, when we think of it just being pure vanilla, you make it what you want it to be, right? Exactly. Yeah, very to, customizable. Yeah. You go to Android Market, they got 150,000 apps now. Right. So, <laughs> We've got a bet in the office uh, come the end of this year. Um, one of our editors, Ricky, and I have yeah. a $50 bet that Android is going to surpass iOS. I, I think that's a good bet. So yeah. I'm hoping to win some money on that bet. I, I, I think you I think you got a safe bet there. Plus, that Android is now the number one operating system in the world. Right. Uh, you know, the, that means all the developers for applications are keenly looking at Android right now. Uh, and it's just is sheer openness just makes it so attractive. Well, now that we've teased the uh, people here let's at home. Let's get down to the gaming. Let's right? get down to the gaming okay. and show them. <laughs> well, when you want to go into the games, what you do is you slide open the device from the home screen. And this opens up the Xperia Game Launcher. Now, what you see right now here is not exactly what you're going to see when the product 
launches commercially. Right now I'm here in the More Games tab, and when this becomes commercial, this will become populated with titles that you are available for download. And right out of the gate here, there's going to be about 50 games that you can download, in addition to the games that are preloadable. And so you'd select one of these icons to read a description of the game, see how much it's going to cost, and then if you select it, download it to the phone, and it gets built to your Verizon Wireless bill. What type of in what type of uh, memory does this device uh, hold internally? I mean, I'm sure there's a micro SD card that yeah, expands in, up to 32 inter gigs. Internally, you're, you're getting uh, close to half a gig on your internal memory. But now, with, with Gingerbread, well, actually with Froyo, Android, and moving with Gingerbread, you can store your applications all on the memory card. So what's more important right now is, is your memory card capacity. This is coming with an 8 gig stick. As, like you mentioned, it's going to be expandable up to 32 gigabytes. So you're going to have, you know, be able to load all the applications and games that you want. Now, wh what I did here with the launcher is I selected the other tab that shows me the, the preloaded titles. Any pre-title that's preloaded that is optimized for the device. So, for example, if I downloaded Angry Birds, it's not going to show up here. That's a pure touch game. Right. It plays just fine on this device, but you don't take advantage of the controller, and it's not optimized. So you won't see it here. So what you will see are the optimized preloaded titles and the ones that you later download will all show up here. So some of the titles that you're going to see in the Verizon product will be uh, from Gameloft, Asphalt uh, 6 Adrenaline, and then from uh, Digital Legends, Bruce Lee, Dragon Warrior, uh, classic Sony title, Crash Bandicoot, and an Electronic Arts sports title. Right now we've got uh, Madden NFL there. We're going to see if it's that title or perhaps another one that's yet to be announced. All right. Uh, Star Battalion, also from Gameloft, and Sims 3. Now, two of these games, Asphalt and Star Battalion, support multiplayer capability over Wi-Fi. So remember, I talked about that fast Wi-Fi right. capability. This is where that really becomes important for your downloads, of course, but now with your multiplayer gaming. You can either play local Wi-Fi multiplayer uh, with somebody in the same room, you're just all working off the same router, right. or tag into the internet through Gameloft Live with your Gameloft username and play anybody in the world that's looking for a game. Uh, with, with Asphalt, you can play a race up to six people together, racing against each other. All in different cities or yeah. even different countries. Yeah, sure. No, no problem. As long as they're there on that game Loft Live and they go into the same room to, to participate, they're all racing against each other. So that's pretty thrilling. And then with Star Battalion, uh, it's three spaceships, but you're all fighting together to defeat uh, the, the enemies uh, out there and reclaim uh, the, your, the kingdom. Or the Sounds pretty <laughs> exciting. Um, if you want, we'll open up one of the two. Yeah, go Let's ahead. Try, uh, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. So while, while that is loading, I'll tell you. I already had a game loaded, so we started right away there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around here so I can uh, do a yeah, little go bit ahead. of gameplay. It's a little bit difficult, with, you know, with the camera doing it, but we'll do we'll do our best here. So I'll point out the the keys. I've got the D-pad. D means direction, of yeah. course. So so moving my character with the D-pad. But I also have the option in, in some other games of using the analog touchpad. Not with this particular game, but remember I mentioned Asphalt Adrenaline. Right. That one gives you the option of using the D-pad or steering here on the touchpad. This is actually an analog joystick, and you have two of them. So uh, you could write, a developer could write for different functions here on the touchpad. So with Asphalt, I would steer the car over here, but here changes my point of view from being inside the car to third person behind the car. If I want to do that, and then I, I do my gas and brake here. But that's not the game we have up right now, so let me get back to Crash Bandicoot. Uh, if I want to spin crash, I'm going to do the, the square or the circle button and that's how he opens boxes. If I want him to jump I'm going to use the X button and then if I want to see my statistics I press the, the triangle button. So, and then of course moving him around is like this. So at this uh, little awkward angle we'll see what I can do. Opening up some boxes and we'll see if we get him to jump on the box. There we go. Get some fruit there. Very seamless. Very, very seamless. Yeah, and great graphics. And again, that's due to the, to, the, to the game being optimized for the device, but also with that graphics processor we were talking about and the, and the, the chipset with Snapdragon and the Adreno graphics processor.
processor. But also, this device supports up to 60 frames per second for gaming. So if a developer is into that and supports it, you're going to see that on top of all the, the graphics performance, too. And, and also, something that we sometimes fail to mention is that Gingerbread is optimized for gaming as well. So it's like the perfect timing for this device, with the chipset coming here with Gingerbread and a genuine gaming controller, all of this stuff coming together. You know what I did? I forgot to go get my mask. So let me get that, because that protects me. And let me get it. There we go. Now I got the mask. Or maybe I, I bounced it off, actually. So. And we jump out of the trench. Nope, I fell into it. So my gameplay is not so great when I'm doing a cam on camera here. As it exactly. Otherwise. But it gives you an idea of the graphics and, and taking a classic Sony title and, and coming to this device that is the first PlayStation certified device in the world. And PlayStation certified is all about bringing a, a, a great console-like experience with great titles, genuine gaming controller, to, to the world of mobile, de of mobile devices and an Android. And this is the first one in the world, PlayStation certified, but also, as we, we can't forget, a full-featured Android smartphone. Full-functioning phone, because like we say like we say around the office, sure, it's a great phone and plays great apps, yep. but if it doesn't make a phone call, what's the point? Yeah, if it doesn't make a phone call, if you can't get your corporate email, Right. Uh, if if uh, texting is awkward, well, then, then you're not going to take this into the office with you. It's not going to be something you're going to use all the time. You're going to go, oh, I've wasted my money on a toy. That's decidedly not this product. The gaming proposition is excellent, and there's nothing else like this out there right now, but also it's a full feature smartphone running on the latest version of Android and all the technology that you need for everything you want to do. Well, definitely can't wait for this to get the Verizon. Steve, I want to say thank you for your time. Can't wait to get one of these bad boys in the office to review. Again, thank you to Thanks Steve and Sony Ericsson and Verizon for having Cell Phone Trek here. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll have more details when it's officially launched uh, with pricing and availability at CellPhoneTrek.com. So again, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day.